How many interviews are you doing? I have a total of 18 to do. 18 to do? How many have you done so far? I've done... You're my eighth one. Eight. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm pretty close. I'm getting there. Yeah, you're it's been a third of the way. It's been really interesting. So... Good morning. My name is Beckett, and on behalf of the research team, thank you for taking the time to meet me. The interview will have two parts. Our first part will be demographics. Um, I, I pen if you need it. Will be demographics, and then the second part will involve a brief set of questions about your perspective on and experience with rooftop solar. Our objective is to document the story behind why people in Georgia do and do not adopt solar. There are no right or wrong answers, and we want you to hear what you honestly think and feel. So if you'll first fill out your demographics there for me. Information ID. That, just leave blank, I've got that. City of residence. Oh, just... Print it all out, right? Yes, sir. What I prefer not to say whether I was male or female. That seems kind of strange. <laughs> it does, but it's becoming more and more of a required yes. question. I guess so. I've been making a check mark instead of an X. Is a check mark okay? Yeah. As long as you mark it. Is your income less than insert number for one hundred percent? I think it's less than the poverty level of. Um, you're in Doherty County, right? Yeah. Of Doherty County. So what? I don't know. I think it's like 30000 Okay, so is my income less than? I would say no. I'm sure I'll make at least 31000 so I ought to be okay. <laughs> right. Okay. The next part is just going to be some questions we're going to talk about. The first question is, what type of home do you live in? Is it a rented home or is it a home that you own? I own the home. You own the home. So is it a single family detached home? Mm -hmm. Brick single family detached home. And then approximately how long have you lived there? Well, let's see. 50 years. 50 years. You didn't know I was that old, did you? So did y'all build your house? Yes. Yeah. So have you always lived in Doherty County? No. I was born in Doherty County, but I have lived a number of different places. So what brought you back to Doherty? Well, I was born there, and then I went to Georgia Tech and got my master's degree, and then Came back to work in Darty County, and then I went in the military and came back to work in Darty County. Then I went on a mission from a church and came back to work in Darty County. So that's where my job's been. Okay. So you've left for military, left for missions, but always come back for Darty? Right. Okay. What branch of the military did you go into? Uh, Army Corps of Engineers. Okay. Did you go on a missions? Uh, Idaho. I was, okay. <clears throat> I was a mission president for the Mormon Church in Idaho. Okay. So I was there three years. Cool. <clears throat> so, your house that you're in, describe what kind of house it is. It's 4,000 square foot brick home on nine tenths of an acre. And it's when you build. 50 years ago then? Yeah, I, I built, I've added on, when I first built it, it was 1,800 square feet, and I kept added on, it's 4,000 square feet now. We've had, one time we had four generations, let's see, uh, my wife's mother, us, daughter, her children, one time we had four generations living in it, and so wow. we had to build on for our own sanity. <laughs> that can be important. Yeah. When they had the flood of 94, we had, you know, my daughter's house was flooded out, so she and her husband and her children came, and then my wife's mother got real sick, and so she came to live with us, so we had a crowd living in the house. 
That can have its fun moments. Oh, well, it's, it's a fun place. I designed the subdivision we live in, so designed the street. <clears throat> it was flat, and my wife wanted to live on a hill, and so uh, when I was under construction, I redesigned the street and lowered it four feet so my wife could live on a hill. <laughs> That's cool. So you designed, did y'all build your house? Like, did you build no, it, or did no, you I, I contract designed it? Streets, I don't design, I'm not a structural engineer, I'm okay. a civil engineer, so I deal with site, but water, sewer, streets, roads. Okay, so you did all the streets and things. Right. That's cool. That's really interesting. I probably worked on the design of three-fourths of Darty County. Cool. Really cool. So, does your current house have solar energy? No. Or solar, rooftop solar? So, tell me why you don't have rooftop top solar. Is it a decision that you've made, or was it one made for you? Neither. Just never had the opportunity. I, I think it'd be nice to have solar. So, why do you think it'd be nice? <laughs> Lower my utility bill. So, it is something you'd use if it was available to you. Um... How do you think it would be more available? What do you think would make it available? Somebody came to the house and said, oh, we'd like to install some solar panels, and this is how much it would cost, and this is how much it would save. And if the savings are more than the cost, then I'd say, well, let's do it. <clears throat> now, my house faces south, and uh, so the, we got to see where the solar panels can fit. I've got a lot of trees, so I have to look and be sure I could get enough sunlight, but I think I could. Mm -hmm. Georgia is one of the top states for solar energy. I mean, this amount of sunlight uh, coming in, Georgia is one of the best states to place solar energy, so I'd be really interested in doing it. So, would you want it to be rooftop solar, or would you rather it be installed in a different way? I don't know. I hadn't thought about different ways. Uh, you know, rooftop would be an, op an option. It, it would be interesting. I know, uh, like, Leesburg is talking about putting in a solar array that takes up about five acres, so it would be pretty small. I guess you could put... I think it'd be interesting to see about putting a solar generator outside in the yard and then uh, connecting it up. I haven't really thought about it that much because uh, nobody's approached me about doing it. A good salesman could probably uh, convince us to do it. <laughs> probably. So it'd be just more the education and the availability of someone in bringing that in. Yeah. Mainly cost and availability. Yeah, yeah. The cost would be an important part, wouldn't it? Okay, so the next part we're going to talk about is the U.S. So, you're going to take a pen and draw on the map for me where you think more people have adopted solar energy across the U.S. So, you can draw a color right on it. Just a identify... Pen. Which states you think have adopted more solar? Let's see. There. I don't know whether they've done it in Florida or not. That'd be my guess anyway. Okay. So what do you think makes people different in your Midwest states that would have adopted it versus... More sunshine. More sunshine. And fewer trees. <clears throat> Out in the Midwest, they've got solar and wind farms. Now that you've got enough sunlight to make solar effective. Okay. Now, we're going to flip our map over and look at our Georgia. And I want you to see which communities in Georgia you think have more solar than just overall. Which oh, goodness. Communities. 
And the ones that are written are just the ones to give you a point reference. This is really a guess. Did I get a grade on this? Nah, it's just your best guess for best information for. Uh. <laughs> okay. So why do you think the people in your metro Atlanta area and a few in your south would have more? Well, because I know that Georgia Power has a solar incentive going on, and I know that uh, they've got solar in the Camilla area, and I know that uh, there's some companies <clears throat> work. So if I, if I drive from Macon to uh, Cordell, I know that there's some big uh, solar farms in that path. Mm -hmm. So I'm just sitting there, okay. I'm guessing. I, I have no idea about, about rooftops there. I don't think I actually put Lee County on there, but I know there's at least one rooftop in Lee County. I, I don't think I put a dot on there because I... Oh, maybe I... Where's that? I'll add Lee County because they probably are not, not aware of one in, in Albany. Okay. So how do you know about the one in uh, Lee County? Because I'm doing some work for them and, and I'm working on some... So I raised in Lee County. <clears throat> okay. I've been doing some interviews with some of the people that that are uh, wanting to put some solar arrays in Lee County, and I'm just working to make recommendations as to whether it would be good for the county or not. So. Okay. So what do you do to give the recommendations of whether it's going to be good to put solar in or not? Well, I looked at the uh, <clears throat> advantages and disadvantages. The, the disadvantages, of, and I'm looking at what they're doing, but mm -hmm. uh, some of the problems, environmental problems, you've got the uh, <clears throat> uh, what to do with the uh, when it goes bad. Mm -hmm. And they are, uh, they're going to come up and recycle it themselves. And this particular facility, part of the problem is battery acid. And this particular facility, I uh, won't have any batteries. And so that takes care of that. <clears throat> and then uh, <clears throat> it's uh, 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 something that's working with. Uh, Georgia Power and Georgia Power has some grants and it's going to bring a uh, considerable amount of income to the city and uh, so that seems to be an advantage it, uh, it's environmentally friendly I mean you don't have to mine things like coal and all so it's uh, uh, it's a product that's good for the environment uh, some people uh, don't like the way it looks. I think it looks fine. I think it looks interesting. So, uh, so for that reason, I think there's some real advantages to to doing it. Okay, that's cool. So you're involved, and in, so is it only Georgia Power across the state that has it, or do any of the other power companies have any? Probably the other power companies. I'm just more familiar you just with know Georgia Power. The Georgia Power one. I know Georgia Power was doing it, and there's some pretty good incentives and federal incentives for doing it right now. Right. So are those incentives more for like are those businesses you're working with or do they have incentives for individual people too? Or do you know that? Well I know that at one time there were incentives for individuals. I don't know what they are. There were a lot of incentives for <clears throat> businesses and for these uh, solar power companies there. And I don't know the details, really. <clears throat> I should. I just don't. I haven't studied it that much. Hey, you know more than I do. So do you have any friends across Georgia that you know of that have rooftop solar? That you can I think don't. Of? You know? Okay. Do you have any across the U.S. that you know of? Uh, well, there's uh, in 
Nebraska, I've got a friend that uh, uh, Nebraska is a very spread out state. His closest neighbor is a mile and a half away, and his next neighbor is two miles away. But as well, uh, they uh, have uh, solar power that helps generate power for the well, the pumps. And I'm familiar with some things that are going on in Idaho and Utah. That there's a good bit of solar, solar power work that's going on. I'm familiar with those two states. Okay. So in your Midwest states. Yeah, I'm I'm a registered engineer. I was registered in Georgia, Florida, Alabama, and Idaho, and I've. I'm still registered in Idaho and Georgia, and so that's the reason I'm kind of familiar with what's going on okay. in Idaho. Okay. Cool. <coughs> cool. Well, before we conclude, is there anything you want to add about solar power? I think it's good. Several years ago, the cost was really high, and it was more cost-effective to stay with the coal power generation and so forth. The cost of solar power is going down considerably now. And I think uh, solar power is going to be more and more common as the cost goes down and the uh, technology improves. Well, at that, thank you for taking time to meet with me. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can either contact me or our project lead, which is Jacqueline. And I can email you your consent form. That way you've got her information. Okay.